Several years ago, we received a grant from the National Science Foundation uh, to study e-textiles design. And so I collaborated with the designer of these materials to really look at and, and surface what kids are learning um, in the process of creating. And we started creating also this, uh, this new intersection that we call Biosim uh, with a colleague of mine. And so we looked at what he was understanding about young children and complex systems and what these new materials could afford. And so we started building these electronically enhanced puppets. So today we're going to be working with young children over at Wonder Camp and we're going to be integrating electronics with textiles and they're going to be making their very own bookmark using sewable electronics. Uh, kids are learning about circuitry and they're learning about electronics, things that have always traditionally remained hidden. Think about our iPads and our iPhones today. We actually can't even change the battery without taking them to a professional. So what does it mean to be able to take some of these high-end electronics down to kids and, and allow them to actually create their own? So it's a very empowering experience. What we're seeing is that um, it's becoming the first ever female-dominated computing industry, and so about 65% of the designers are now women, as opposed to about 1% of traditional uh, Arduino robotics products. But it's not just about broadening participation and bringing girls into STEM, is that we're seeing that these new materials are actually good for, for all learners. I'm really hoping to transform what it is that we know about uh, learning with new tools and artifacts and how can we transform the classroom learning experience to take these ideas that have been difficult for even college students to understand down for the, even the youngest of learners um, in, our, in our elementary school grades.